league, and we're gonna play Mono Green Tron. We're gonna be playing the list that topped. Uh, what was this top thirty-two? They got twenty-first place. And this is a very, a very standard uh, Mono Green Tron list from before. Um, so on three ballistas, three worm coils, two Ulamogs, four Karns, two Ugans, no Karn Great Creators, um, no Factory, 19 lands. Um, the utility lands are Blast Zone, Ghost Quarter, and Sanctum. We're on three O Stones, and we're on a full four Relics. In the side, we have four Cages, two Thought Knots, three Thrag Tusks, two Dismembers, three Nature's Claim, and an Emrakul. They are very, very well prepared for the graveyard plan. Which definitely seems smart. This hand's not forming Tron. We'll ship that. This hand is forming Tron. Let's keep it. Relic, we'll take that as well. Let's go sphere and pass it over. Hopefully they don't have a pierce or a snare for us. And they do, so I'll pass that over. Feels like they're hoping up force. I'm gonna crack this relic. I wanna draw a card. See if we can get closer to Tron. We didn't. So let's just run out of ghost stone. Oh, they actually got 13th place. They just uh, listed it awkwardly because uh, um, because it was a team of that. That's really awesome.
we'll shoot them for one, take the extra card, get us up to uh, seven mana, which is pretty sweet. They have a So we have the mana, so I'm going to star, crack it, and then we'll run out of card. Down ticking is a little awkward if they have the land, but I don't want a tech free to stay on board. This is fantastic for us. They don't have anything, so we can just start upticking with car now. I don't even really want to run out the Ugin. We don't really need to. So I'm just going to draw a card here. Because Karn can definitely just take over this game for us now that it's out of reach of Colonnade as well. So it's going to be pretty rough for them to take care of it. If they have to tap out to deal with it, then we can just drop a Ugin after that. I'm fine with cracking a Relic here. Kind of interesting they did that, but I'm sure they just wanted another creature on board. I just don't know what they could have in hand, but they just, I don't know what they're waiting for. Okay. They're waiting for us to cast it again. this because I want to get a Sanctum, play it, 
and then we'll run out our car. Sack it, we've got an Ulamog. Let's see if this Karn resolves. This Ulama, exile those. I didn't. Uh, I tried to build it, and uh, uh, right now with my current subscription, I can only borrow up to about a little under four hundred dollars. And on Moto, that list is like almost six hundred. So I gotta either change my subscription, or I do actually have some of the cards on another account. So I'm gonna see if I can get my hands on that. I'll see if I can put it together for next week because it seems like a great deck and a lot of fun. Oh, that's awesome. Much appreciated for the offer. Yeah, I probably just need to up my subscription self. I use it a ton, and I've had that happen a couple times where I uh, am unable to borrow a card uh, as a result of it. And obviously, I use it so much that it's, uh, it's worth it just to have it, so... Cool. I wasn't. I'm never really sure who's using the account. So. <laughs>
Did you guys do any of the big tournaments this weekend? Or your team? Definitely trying to hold on to with whatever they can. Not bad. How they do at the one K for a popper? And congratulations to you, man! Must be exciting getting closer and closer to wedding day. Yeah, I would have gone, but I uh. I had a work obligation that I didn't get back into town until Saturday at like um, four o'clock. I should play around leak. still playing. They only have four cards left in the deck. Three cards in hand. Oh yeah, it'll be worth it for sure. Yeah, I want to get into Popper now, uh, since it's now a recognized format. I want to see what kind of events they're going to do for it. Yeah, none of my teammates want, uh, were able to go to the event either. <laughs> Snapcaster Force. Definitely can't kill me in time, since I only have three turns left, but 
they want to burn the clock down, I'm more than happy to let them. The Thrag Tusk, the Thought Knots, Emrakul, take out the Ballistas. Oh, I'm not really that impressed with the Relic here. I want to just have as high of a threat density as possible. I think this is what we're going to go with. Yeah, I was bummed out I couldn't do the uh, the the online MCQ because I was traveling Saturday so like I was had to be on the road to the airport by 8 a.m. and then at the airport like until 4 o'clock so traveling in, in the airplane so wasn't able to do the magic while I was just sitting there entertaining myself on the flight Are you, are you just uh, playing the Grixis Urza deck, or are you trying something else? This is sweet. That is a spell pierce, possibly, so, but we're still going to run out this map. Ooh. Pretty sweet. Run out this thrag tusk. Stone, pass it over. Yeah, it seemed like the deck was streamlined enough to where you are just going to be doing something very consistently, and it has a lot of uh, repetitive and repeatable pieces, which makes it really nice. There was a ton of triple Phoenix decks that blew me away at the uh, opens and the uh, GP.
I took our Emrakul. I'm so sad. I wanted to cast that on them and do shenanigans. Probably should have just played the Karn first, that was a mistake. Because I would have been able to just exile the V-Click and then hit the Teferi and kick my 5-3. Hey Ryan, thanks for joining, man. Appreciate that you are checking out the stream and that it's getting better. Really appreciate that. Any, uh... Oh, you are? That's awesome. Let me know. Alright, I'll definitely check it out. What up, Imp Bloody? Thanks for joining, man. Last zone up to three. And put a protection on this worm coil. Lou 
lose our O stone, which is a bummer, but I still think it might be worth it. Slayer Angel for us? Okay, okay. ripping their entire hand apart. Times like this is when I miss my Urza factory. a mosquito. We caught it. We've got all the cards. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Let's do a ballista for eight. Have lethal on board. And we have the option. Ooh, let's cut Emrakul. I just want to cast Emrakul. I don't even care. Yeah. Yeah. Got it in one hit. That's how we get them skaters. Whisper bot. The link looked pretty suspicious. So, it looks like I uh, don't want anything with that. This hand's not great. But I think I'm willing to keep it at this point. 
Get three draws and a look with stirrings. I think that's fine. Yeah, it did seem sketchy, but I was willing to, you know, all right, let's go check it out. It seemed like a bot message, so I was, that's why I was, like, being polite, but just wanted to double check, and, uh, yeah. All right, let's go another card deeper. Oh, my gosh, I can imagine having a, uh, a truck come around just to get the mosquitoes. Well, it looks like we whiffed. That's a bit of a bummer. Um, let's grab this blast zone, I guess. Looks like it's not like necessarily a scam. It's uh, they link you to their Fiverr page. mosquitoes and the thick I was in Denver this last weekend and I um, they have a really high altitude and there were zero bugs and it was wonderful all right well we can farm Tron but uh our opponent's gonna strip us of it can't do much with it. Are we just hoping they don't have uh, they don't have Karn? I think so. Let's pass and find out. Yeah, and so that's what it looks like. It looks like they just do that, um, send those bots around to get try to get work for themselves. Alrighty. Looks like this match is over. Let's go to the next one. Yeah, Fiverr's a pretty solid site if you're just looking for something quick and easy, so. Nothing wrong with that. One of my teachers used uh, Fiverr's quite a bit to put together all their PowerPoints, which always cracked me up. Because you could tell that that um, someone else put the PowerPoint together, because none of the slides always like meshed well, but they always looked pretty decent. Yeah, honestly, where I live is not much better. Because I live on a, um, my company took over the land, and uh, or bought the land, and it was used to be like a swamp land at one point, or uh, surrounded enough of it. And so, well, we've got Natural Tron. Unfortunately, we don't have a relevant payoff until much later. Uh, I guess. Uh, 
I'm gonna bottom that. I'm gonna go risky here. I wanna see if I can get a Karn. Stop theirs and get ourselves another draw. Do anything to us, we've got an Ulabog. Yeah, I, I think for any kind of like non serious work that you need, there, there's it's a solid site to go to. Pretty rude. Oh, we got a power plant. Grab another car. Still got turn four Tron, so it's not bad. They've also got turn four Tron. Which is a problem. Let's see if they have Karn. Uh, I like Etron a lot more than Tron right now. Uh, I just wanted to wrap up the night with a deck I didn't have to really borrow or anything to worry about. Um, I think Etron is just better positioned um, against what we're dealing with in the meta. So. And that's going to be it for this match. Um, and I mean, I think that sh it shows well with the, the way that they, the tournaments played out today. Um, Mono Green Tron was very non-existent. I think in the team open there was one player that had it. Um, I'd have to double check the GP, but I would bet that that was also pretty bad.
I don't actually even know what I want to play in, in just in general either, which is pretty bad. Like, I'm kind of happy I'm not going to a tournament right now, because I don't feel, like, very confident in the deck. Yeah, I think the biggest thing right now is I just I just wanted to see how this, these big tournaments went over, and I wanted to see if nice. Um, I wanted to see if anything does get banned. If nothing gets banned, then I probably should just be playing Hogak. Like it seems like the best deck by far, and I probably could just get my hands on it from a friend to you know just borrow the entire deck and. Just go from there. I think we're gonna have enough time to drop this worm coil and still be relevant, but we'll see if that works. Hopefully they don't have um multiple skull cracks. Yeah, I don't think there was much uh, amulet either. Yeah, I don't like the deck either. Feel like we're gonna swing and they're gonna skull crack us. Holy crap. What a miracle. Kinda weird. Yeah, I know Blake has switched to Phoenix because he wanted to be off blue-white. Yeah, I was blown away with the way they were burning us. I thought that they definitely had the Boros Charm or the Skullcrack to just end the game, and they just didn't. Uh, I think we're going to keep this. It's a slower hand, but we can definitely form Tron with a little bit of luck. And uh, if not, turn four, we should be able to have it. And then, oh, we got part of it. Card of force, I suppose. Yeah, I think Blue White's fine and he just doesn't want to be on it. He wants to be on Phoenix, which is fine. It's his call. too slow if they have double burn spell here. I'm just finish this off. It actually just might be too slow, period. Because we'll go lay in Sylvan Scrying and then they swing at us again. Yeah, we're done.
Yeah, Phoenix is in a very good spot right now. I just don't think we get to keep a hand. Sounds good, man. Have a good night, and I will talk to you soon. If you are going to uh, GP the Troy, I'll see you there. Good just to form Tron. Instead of running out of a list on one. They conceded. Ballista's too strong. Okay, take those out. Bring these in. Bring in the thoughts. Bring in the that. I think this is the devoted uh, devastation deck we're going against. And the devoted devastation deck does run chord and finale. So we want to bring in these. Cages for sure. Take out the slower interactive cards. Um, this hand will work. It's a little awkward. Run out of Ballista and shoot the bird for one. I think we just have to run out the Ballista for one. And not shoot the bird in this pass. Thank you. 
Um, I think we're gonna have to crack this for a green source. for a second. Mm, they want infinite mana? Yeah, yeah, we're back on Mono Green Tron for the last one for the night. going to Ewit and then cast their Psy and I guess the only way for us to slow that down is by Blast Zone. They still can do it if they tap properly, right? At least I want to. They're about to infinite combo us. They should have tapped better. I guess it doesn't matter because they have both. Run that back. Mm -mm -mm. Keep this. We got a good sideboard card, and we might see if we can form this Tron shenanigans. Me too. Thanks, Fragger. green now and use stirrings and gamble or next turn for sure I think we've got a run for it we didn't get it but we did get the force
Not about me. I can do that. That sounds like a great idea. Well, they've got infinite mana. Do they have a payoff? Still need to fade them another turn, though. <laughs> uh. All right, opponent, don't kill us. <laughs> I can tell you at the Invitational, my opponent had to pay off every time. Still not a payoff, it's just a bird. It's another bugler. an e wet they can't cast the Eldamari's call and that's a bird so they've got the call in their hand, and that's it. So we can wipe the board right now. And then we'll Sylvan Scrying. We'll get a Sanctum and pass it over to them. That was a nice O stone. We got so much value off that. Bird. It's a devoted. They can't cast it this turn. This nice walking ballista. And that should be game. Yeah. You have a flow chart for what decks you root for? That's pretty intense and pretty cool. And I appreciate you breaking that rule for me. Is someone playing Hogak? If anyone, while we're waiting for this, we need to see this. Like, what deck to root for? Is someone playing Hogak? Yes or no? Yes, root for the non Hogak player. That's a very reasonable chart so far. No. Is someone playing Thalia? If, uh, if they are, is someone playing Cryptic? Then you root for Thalia. If not, root for the non Thalia deck. And then if they're not playing it, are they playing Ponza? If they are, Root for the non-Ponza player. If they're not, are they playing any Tron lands? 
if yes, play root for the non-tron land player. Also very reasonable. And then after that, you flip a coin to decide. It's a pretty good chart. All those decks are kind of rude. <laughs> Um, he had a couple looks here. This is a slow hand, though. Let's ship this. I feel like this is a little bit better. It's got the green sources, so I can feel better about keeping a hand like this. The O stones aren't great. Let's ship that. Let's see how lucky we are. Well, we've got, we've got Tron, turn four. Looks like they've got natural Tron. Thanks for the subscription, new fragger. Much appreciated. Look at you running at me. Thank you so much. Have a great time at the gym, man. Ooh, and we got there. I appreciate it. I'm probably going to be back tomorrow. This is my last stream for tonight, but I am not uh, worried to with school this week. So I can uh, stream a little bit more. So I'm probably going to be back on tomorrow. That is sweet. Definitely send a follow your way so I can see when you are on and I'll check your stream next time you're on. into play. I'm gonna cast this stupid Ulamo. For some reason our opponent still hasn't conceded. Ah, oh, they finally conceded.
gonna try out this uh, Devoted Devastation deck soon here. I think I own everything on, on the list for this deck other than the Finale of Devastation, so. Should be pretty simple to put together. Spend like 30 bucks, 40 bucks or something and I'll have it. Try it out on stream first, of course. Practice for green. Go get their uh, Sylvan's Crying and uh, nope map. Okay, a little bit slower of a hand. That's good for us. Those are all duplicates. Hmm. We really needed that to be tr for me, Tron, right there. Yeah, we're done here. Mm -hmm. 
Let's check that one. Me and this one. I don't think the luck is with us tonight, folks. Oh my gosh. We'll keep this. to get lucky here with uh, just ripping the Tron piece off and hoping they don't have a payoff still. Mm -mm, that's a ghost quarter. Throwing toss, can we actually even draw anything relevant here? I don't think so. Yep. Alright, folks, I think that is a pretty bad league for us to end on, but that's what we ended on. So, I'll have these videos up and running soon for everyone on the YouTube and on here. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining tonight. It was a great stream. Really appreciated it. And I am going to be back tomorrow, most likely. I don't know for how long, but I'm going to try to be on around 7 or 8 o'clock. So, have a wonderful night, everyone.